Hello, and welcome to Begin Learning Drupal. This is the fastest and easiest way to learn Drupal, even if you're not a designer or a developer. I've found that people have a hard time just getting around Drupal, whether it's creating a Drupal website or creating a Drupal site from scratch. Every Drupal website has an administrative backend. It looks something like this. It also has a nice looking front end design that looks like this, or even like this. I've created some very easy to follow videos and divided the content into two parts. One is Drupal beginner videos and two is Drupal advanced videos. I've also included extra stuff like a PDF with everything you need to know about Drupal search engine optimization. Drupal beginner videos include a three minute Drupal installation, how you can set up Drupal quickly and easily, one option is to use a MySQL database, and the other option is to do a one-click install for Drupal, which also technically has a database, but you'll never have to worry about that if you don't want to. You'll learn how to create a Drupal administration area to look the way you want. In this case, I was kind of lazy, so all I did is upload my logo, but you can customize this entire admin area to match the look and feel of your site. You can also set up a nice professional-looking contact form, and the Drupal video courses, if I logged in, or I basically went in through the site, and I clicked on contact, you can even categorize the type of contact form, so you can have each category go to the right department. So you can customize the look and feel of your Drupal site, and you've probably heard about website templates and templates or themes enable you to change the look and feel of your site. In Drupal, these templates are called themes. And it's very easy to change in Drupal. So, I'm going to show you how you can create a theme from scratch um, or start creating your own theme using a Photoshop file and slicing that design and um, implementing that in Drupal. I'll show you how you can set up clean URLs and the reason we need clean URLs is because it helps make our pages more search engine friendly. Now in order to have clean URLs I have to let you know that there are very few well not very few but there are some hosts that meet all the Drupal requirements right from the start and uh, I'll make some recommendations on hosting even though I'm not affiliated with them but it's taken me a while to choose the right host to host my Drupal website and I'm going to share that with you in the videos. I'll also show you about advanced theming, custom themings, where you can take any Photoshop design and convert that into a Drupal website. So this was all one Photoshop design. So was this. So all I've done is taken that Photoshop design and sliced it and implemented that in my Drupal site. You can call any part of your Drupal database to spit out content in the fields that you set up. You can also use CSS or XHTML, CSS and XHTML to make the page the way that you want using different design styles. Or you can even take a design and make customizations on that design. So see this page right here? It has this testimonials block and then some content here. Whereas if I clicked on contact information, it doesn't have that testimonials block and it just has the phone number. So you can make customizations within a design. I'm also going to show you how to install a word style editor. In Drupal, that's called the CK editor. If I clicked on content management, I can basically change the look and feel of my content even after having a custom theme, uh, change the look and feel, the style of that content. I can click on edit. And I'm going to scroll down. And this right here, I can bold this text, italicize it, underline it, format it any way I want. 
add an image, add some flash, add a table, add some smileys, whatever. Copy and paste from Word. Um, it's very easy to do with the CK editor. So you'll know how to uh, change the content of your site using a Word style editor and um, name your pages accordingly. You'll also learn how to set up a blog. Search engines love blogs. And you'll learn how to add a blog to your site, create a search function, or in this case, I've used a Google custom search. But if you want, you could also add a search box. And if you have a blog set up, uh, people can type in a keyword and look for that content within your site. So you can make your site searchable. I'm also going to show you how to add the translate feature um, so you can implement Google Translate for your website until you get a professional translator to do the actual content. You can use that. I'm also going to show you how to use jQuery. Uh, if you don't know what jQuery is, that's okay. But you've probably seen this on websites. So if I scroll down, I'm going to show you a few examples. See the date function right here. You've probably seen the accordion everywhere. It's a nice little way to display content or cool little features like this. Like, And you don't need Flash to do that. Uh, Flash is great and it's uh, necessary in some areas and I still use it, but um, I have a few recommendations on Flash. It's a whole other topic. Uh, but you could just use jQuery for your site if you wanted to. And uh, I'll show you that in the videos. Uh, I'll also show you how to create a membership website if you wanted to accept memberships for your website. Um, learn how to use a social networking toolbar. For my actual site, I use the Webio toolbar, but for the old site, I use the Gigio toolbar. And note that both these both of these designs were very easy to change out because the content stayed the same, and all I needed to do was change the look and feel of the site. So. If I clicked on share, I can share this page across all these different platforms. And there's more and more. So it's very easy to do with Drupal. So you can create so much more. Um, so be sure to check out the course. Go to beginlearningdrupal.com and start creating your Drupal website today.